Sugar is not bad, but sugar, as in white table sugar, does not facilitate the processes in the cell that we want to continue to reduce inflammation to make healthy daughter cells. It's a treat. It's, it's a little bit okay, but in our culture, we totally overdo sugar. We have sugar in our cereals. We have sugar in our tea and coffee. We have desserts. We have pop tarts. We have dessert after every meal. We have snacks all during the day. A 12 ounce can of cola or even a regular soft drink has one quarter of a cup of sugar. So whereas pre-industrial revolution, we maybe ate one pound of sugar per person per year. Now as a whole, our culture is eating about 90 pounds of sugar per person per year. And we know in the laboratory setting that excessive consumption of sugar increases inflammation and it does something in a cancer cell that we're not really excited about it doing. Cancer is an obligate glucose metabolizer. That means it's obligated to eat glucose. Glucose is the basic molecule of carbohydrate. Table sugar is glucose and fructose, so it's very easy for the body to uptake that glucose from table sugar. People often ask me, what about the sugar in fruits? That's a completely different animal. This, this beautiful nectarine not only has a little bit of glucose, it's mostly fructose. It has fiber, it has vitamin A, it has beta carotenes, it has a plethora of nutrients that we haven't even discovered yet that not only give us the sweet taste that we enjoy, but also provide profound nutrients that help reduce the risk of cancer. So it, it's not about sugar, it's about how much am, am I eating of sugar and where is that sugar coming from?